anyone that follows hip hop knows Joe is notorious for his stories that are often over the top, especially if there are numbers involved. They typically are inflated. One becomes one million, you know, 100 becomes 100,000. So it's not uncommon for us to hear something like this after the story is told. I can't make this shit up. I'm sitting there and can't fucking believe what's going on. We can't make this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. I can't make this shit up. It happened. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry to guys who want to hate. I'm sorry. It happened. It's real shit. I could be talking mad shit up on here I don't talk about. You think I talk a lot. Trust me. I talk enough. Man, I ain't capping. Well, all the stories has earned Joe the nickname Joey Cap instead of Joey Crack. And Joe made it well known during his Rap Radar interview that he is fully aware of the nickname and he decided to fire back. Man, roll the clip. But, uh, but let me, let me tell you why I'm explaining mm -hmm. this, yep. right? Because lately I tell such incredible, incredible stories, they starting to call me Joey Cap. <laughs> Like they, I'm not Joey Crack. No, no, I get it. Yeah. They call, it's dope. You know, if you're a young dude or you're not from New York or you don't really know the whole real fat Joe history, mm -hmm. it seems mythical. and you're from it Memphis, Tennessee, yeah, yeah, not just yeah. ruling out Memphis, wherever, it sounds like he's full of shit. This right. guy's with Biggie and Tupac. <laughs> no fucking way, right? So I'm Joey Cap now. They, 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 all That's my stories wild. are Cap. Wow. Right? And then home of Twitter, they call me an appropriator. They call me a white guy that I've jumped in the hip. <laughs> no, nah, it's fucking incredible. Jesus. No, right. I'm from the birthplace of hip hop. Yes, absolutely. I used to tell people Biz Marquis used to work in my, rest in peace Biz Marquis, used to come to my store once a week and work the cash register. The I'm watching store, the Biz yeah, Marquis man. documentary. They showed a video of him in the cash register. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and so these store. stories yeah. are unbelievable. Oh, yeah. But Flash was like, yo, your babysitters, Little Terry and Little Kiki, they invented, let me hear you say, ho. Wow. These are my babysitters. <laughs> Grandmaster crazy. Flash, there's footage of it, yes. right? And uh, you know, I'll say I got Bone Thugs and Biggie to do the Bone and Biggie, and everybody mm -hmm. call me Joey Cap, and then Crazy Bone will come on and say, no, no, no. It's true. Exactly true. What happened? Yeah. Fat Joe did it. Yeah. He made it happen. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Put your thoughts down in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe and stay connected with Panda Chop News. Peace.